Hey everybody. Uh, the weather's been kind of crazy here, so that's why I haven't been on, because I haven't been laying out. But it's pretty nice out here today. It's actually a little hot. So I thought I'd lay out and make a video. I wanted to talk to you guys about, sorry, this plane. I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of separating your circumstance from how you feel. Imagine that things are going pretty bad for you. Whether you acknowledge it or not, whether you believe it or not, you still have a choice of how you're going to act. Whether you're going to let what's going on around you in your life change you. We're all guilty of it. It's happened plenty of times to everybody. But the key is to notice it and make it stop. You can't let what's going on around you get you down to the point where it changes you. You can have bad days. You can be angry, you can be annoyed, you can be frustrated. But you have to let it go. Because if you don't let those feelings go, you'll never move on to finding a solution for the problem. You'll just be thinking, oh, life sucks, I hate this, blah, blah, blah. When you could be spending your time either actively thinking of ways to change it or staying calm and letting those solutions come naturally. Thinking, you know what, this is how it is right now, but I'm not going to let it change who I am, how I feel. And personally, I feel like, you know, a lot of people will ask, well, what would you know about my life or, you know, this and that. I can't speak for anybody else's life. All I know is I'm giving this perspective from my life. And I was born with a physical challenge and I learned very early never to let what you're going through or your circumstances affect how you feel. A lot of people, it takes longer to learn that than it took me. And I understand that. And I understand that sometimes you may need help getting to that point. And if you do, please come to me. But I'm telling you, once you learn to separate your circumstances from how you feel, only good things can come from that. Only good things can come into your life from that. It's not going to erase all the bad times but it will make them less catastrophic to your life. It won't make you feel like you're gonna give up or let it get to you or let it get you down. You'll really start to understand the concept of this too shall pass. And you need to be able to also reach out to other people. I'm not saying do it in like a attacking sort of way. If they come to you and say, you know, oh, my life sucks, blah, 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 ask them if you could give them your advice. I'm doing it this way because this is my YouTube channel. Anybody who wants to watch it can watch it. Anybody who doesn't doesn't have to. But you have to sort of tread lightly with other people. But you do need to try to stress. If you're in a position where you have mastered this. Or at least are working it. You have to share it with people. That there is a way to separate circumstance from how you feel. There's definitely a way. And the only way you can do it is with practice. Take a situation that you're currently in.
and let it go for a day. So you know what? Today I'm going to have a good day. The answers might not come to me today on how to fix this situation, but I'm not going to let it get me down. And then start to clear your mind enough to start thinking of solutions to your problem. And I'm telling you, there will be a world of a difference in your mood, your personality, and then things will start to change around you naturally. If other people don't change, it's because it's their problem and they need to work through it on their own. I'm not saying it's gonna miraculously change everybody, but it will change you and how you look at the things around you and the people around you. That's it for this week. I will see you guys hopefully within a few days. Bye.